Okay. Welcome to week number three for Jane T. My name is Jenny Bunting. This is a six week course where you ask slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Jane. Hi. What's the news from the scales this week? Uh, another two pounds. Yes, well done. <laughs> That's fantastic. So that is six pounds in total. Yes. And your daughter, Kate, just pipped you over the post this week because she's lost three this week and got a half stone certificate, didn't she? She did. And I don't know how because she went out. <laughs> I know we went through a food diary as well all I'm gonna say to you Jane is you know it is harder for you because as we know as we get a little bit old our metabolism does slow down so this is why even if you ate exactly the same things uh you wouldn't lose as much so I'm, I'm okay. gonna give you that as a small uh prize okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> and how have you got on generally this week compared to the other weeks um, I suppose if I'm honest, there have been times I haven't, I think I've been quite busy and I haven't been quite as organised with food, having it in the fridge ready. And there's been a couple of times I've come in late and gone, I want something to eat now. And yeah. it's that because then you just eat rubbish, don't you? Rather than going, no, just give me 10 minutes and I'll have this prepared. So, but I have managed to do that and keep, you know, think, just make yourself a cup of tea and have that first rather than anything to eat um it, it is easier when i know exactly i've planned it beforehand and know what i'm doing because then i just know what i'm going to eat and you know yeah you've almost got it in your head where to go yeah. in the house yeah. when <laughs> when you've got when you yeah. know what you're having <laughs> which <laughs> cupboard to open <laughs> rather than gravitating towards the rubbish which is a quick fix absolutely um, so yeah but I've, I've managed to do it so you know i'm quite pleased but because i cook mostly from fresh it's not that instant you know you've got to then start chopping and yeah doing things but um it's been okay I, I think this has been the hardest week but then i suppose you, you perhaps you do have a bit of a dip and climb back up on it again and but i'm i'm really happy with two pounds lost every single week so that, that's a good consistent loss i'm happy with that because i think it's one of those that i can keep off yeah rather than um where you lose i don't know eight pounds in one week and then start eating properly and then it just all goes back on again so now just in making me I was going to say, it's, it's making me think, because I know I've got to document it on my phone. Do I want it before I put it on my phone, you know? Which is why tracking yeah. works, to be honest. It just makes yourself accountable, first of all. But then when you know that someone else is going to be looking through it as well, it just is a little bit more pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Now, just in case you've done the maths, the fact that we are doing a six week course and you're losing two pounds, and I'm really happy with that. There is going to be a challenge on the last week. So this is especially for people like you that have been really perfect or and lose a two pound every single yeah. week. The last week is where we kind of step up a little bit and make sure we lose those two extra pounds as well as the normal two. OK, so this is why you find to lose two every week, because the last, yeah. last week will push us over that line. Right. OK. Yes, I did think you're not going to do it. Jim, but <laughs> you will. You will. Don't worry. I'll, maybe I'll try for three next week and then it won't make the last week just so hard. I've got a secret weapon and I'm going to talk, I'll tell you a little bit about the secret weapon now, because you asked um, just before we started about uh, your tummy. Hmm. So the, there is, it, it, it's the question that you have to ask yourself, is it untoned muscle or is it the fact that your digestive system is maybe a little bit larger than it could be? And 99% of people do just have some 
things going on in their digestive system that makes it stick out a little bit. If you were a man, I would tell you it was a beer belly. Uh, and if you didn't, if you don't know, a beer belly basically in a man who has a really hard tummy is basically all those internal organs are all. Um, how can we put this nicely? Swelled due to the alcohol um, and the processing that goes in with beer and stuff. Um, and females have a similar thing, uh, but their biggest um, issues can be alcohol, uh, but it can also be gluten, wheat, dairy, caffeine. Um, you know, there's quite a few different things that can inflame your digestive system and your internal organs as well. So on week number six, this is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be cutting out a lot of these things and that will give you that extra two pound weight loss. Now, the bad news with that is that it comes off really easy, for instance, if you give up bread and process dairy completely for a week. But when you eat it again, your digestive system will go bigger again and you'll put that two pounds back on. OK, so this is why it's good that I want to discuss it with you now, because maybe we can start reducing some of these things now. Um, and that way you'll start to feel the benefits of your stomach, actually, or that area shrinking. Um, and then it won't be such of a uh, you know, you, you won't feel that areas not in proportion with the rest of your body. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense, yeah. Jane? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Before we do that, we'll go through your food diary uh, and then we'll discuss where we can squeeze these uh, alterations in in the coming weeks. Okay. So this morning you've had Weetabix for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, we've had tuna, which was one of the challenges yesterday, wasn't it, to eat some tuna? So well done. That was yeah. with a salad. Uh, sorry, this is yesterday. Um, and then roast beef yesterday evening with a Sunday dinner. Lots of vegetables there. Yeah. And only two tiny pieces of potato. Great. And I didn't make Yorkshire's and I usually make Yorkshire's. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and we were well under our calories yesterday. So 1,200. Uh, Sunday was Weetabix for breakfast, uh, fresh fruit salad for lunch, and then in the evening, barbecue chicken with some salad, uh, or lots of salad, and an apple for dessert. In the snack section, we had some more apples, a skinny latte, and a pear. I mean, I think I probably, I don't know if I put that on there, but I would have had a rice, I made a big rice salad, so I've had that with I think I had that with the tuna yesterday and I would have had that on the Sunday as well um, okay so rice salad going out of the window there okay <laughs> your calories were really low on Sunday as well so you had the calories to have that rice right uh Saturday is Weetabix for breakfast uh for lunch is egg sandwich uh and in the evening you had chicken salad Again, with the rice thing, was it? Yeah. That was when I first made it. They were all, all the family came around. So. Okay. Uh, skinny latte is on there. Have you got a Dolce Gusto machine? How are you making your skinny latte? We haven't. We've got a built-in coffee machine. Oh, you great. One that's built-in unit, yeah. But it's not working at the moment. So I'm actually just making it with milk and water. Okay, fab. But using skimmed milk. Have you got one of those throffing machine things? Yes. It's like a little yeah. whisk thing, isn't it? Yeah. But in on the machine, when it when it works, it does it itself. So <laughs> but I do like my coffee. <laughs> right. Friday was a Weetabix again for breakfast with some apple and pear. Uh, poached eggs on toast for lunch and then a chicken wrap in the evening and again another little skinny latte there thursday also known as dance fit day 
was Weetabix for breakfast with fruit. Uh, for lunch was a cream cheese sandwich with lots of veg. Uh, spaghetti bolognese in the evening with some melon as dessert and again a skinny latte. And you burnt 365 calories on that day from doing dance fit, I'm guessing. Yes, unfortunately, my Fitbit battery went just about as we got to um, dance fit. So I didn't get a full total. So oh, did... <laughs> I thought, trust it, I wanted to know. And it's the one night. That <laughs> I think Kate's come up with something like 450 calories for the dance fit. So that, that could be the difference then. Yeah. It'll, it'll be ready to use up this Thursday, that's definite. Fabulous. <laughs> right, I've got nothing tracked for Wednesday. Did you eat anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not tracked, I didn't eat it. Oh, right. I must have forgotten, completely forgotten. It's OK, don't worry. And then Tuesday last week was scrambled eggs for lunch on toast. And then in the evening, some beef chilli. And then, uh, oh, yes, millionaire's cheesecake. I spotted this earlier on Kate's um, food diary. And she did blame you, you, actually, Jade. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. they were all here. But I did it with a jacket potato, the chilli, so... Uh, in your defence, yeah, I did I say... Chicken. In your defence, Jane, I said, well, your mum obviously knows Tuesday's way day, so you deserve a little treat, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> that, that was the thinking behind it. <laughs> Fabulous. Right, so we've been through your food diary, and what I want you to do if you feel like you can, is to try and reduce your grain intake from now. Right. So, for instance, if we took last Tuesday, uh, you had the Weetabix for breakfast and then you had the scrambled eggs on toast in the evening. So that would contain wheat in the Weetabix and in the bread. So what I want you to try and do this week is just to try and have grains once per day. Right. What would be a good breakfast then if I didn't have wheat bit? So how about having um, an omelette or some eggs in other uh, form? Or what about okay. some Greek yogurt and some fruit? Yep. Yeah, I could do that. I did, but I bought some yogurt after you said to buy not the um, low fat or anything. So yeah, I did some hot last time. Or the other option would be to keep the Weetabix for breakfast, but then try and get rid of the bread for lunch. Right. You could this play around right. with it a little bit and see what fits in with your lifestyle. Because yeah. I tend to just do a sandwich at lunchtime, so... Then you just say some scrambled egg without anything, or... For, for breakfast? Perhaps I presume uh, for lunch. So what about an omelette so, for lunch with some salad? Instead of bread, instead of a sandwich. I mean, so wraps and everything else, they're all the same, are they? They all fall into it. Yeah, yeah. they've all got wheat in. Right. Yep, try, try having more eggs at lunchtime. We've got plenty of eggs. Yeah. Well, at this point, I should thank you very much for my duck, goose and oh. chicken eggs. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe this is a good option for lunch. And obviously, is it when it does get hotter, having a frittata, a cold omelette would be nice. Yes, yes, I, yes. Oh, I, I suppose like those uh, crustless uh, quiches. Crustless quiches, quiches, yeah. And having something quite flavoursome in them as well is quite popular. So maybe like salmon and broccoli or having uh, goat's cheese and butternut squash. There's loads of nice combinations. So you can put bacon, mushrooms, anything like that in it. Absolutely, yes. 
And that's the secret to having a non-bread lunch is just to try and get something quite flavoursome that you're going to enjoy. Uh, you know, this is where maybe cheese would come into it as well. So you really enjoy it. Right. And can you make those little crustless things and uh, freeze them? Do you know? Yeah, absolutely. As long as your ingredients aren't frozen from the beginning, as long as everything's fresh, you can do that. Oh, right. Because that might... I, I, lunch is usually fairly quick, you know, because we've been busy in the garden or something and you just want to stop 20 minutes. And so that, that would be fine because I could just get them out of the freezer. And again, this is where, for instance, if you left the Weetabix for breakfast, this was where maybe the fruit and yogurt would be better for lunch if you're on the go, if you fast. Yeah, OK, then. Yeah, I'll give that a go. So would you just lose one of them, either breakfast or lunch? And then, well, no, potatoes are carbohydrates, aren't they? So, yeah, right, I see. Yep, I'm getting it. Yeah, so now. just one of them. <laughs> Right. Yes. Okay. And obviously just in the evening meal, make sure you don't have any wheat then as well. Um, just think yeah. rice, potatoes, try and get your carbohydrates in that way in the evenings. So pasta's out, isn't it? Yes, if you can. Yes. Right. Okay. If you have it once a week, fine. But just the majority of the week, if we can really cut down, cut down that wheat. Have you had any of the non-wheat pastas? No. They do some that. lentil pasta or some black bean pasta. There's quite a few different varieties out there now. Oh, right. So that might be oh. worth having a look at. Right. If you yeah, really want some pasta. I do like my pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like potatoes, you see, very much. Oh, don't so like, you? So my go-to would be pasta or rice. Or I, I love bulgur wheat and couscous and all of those. Yeah. So definitely, yeah, mix it up with your salads, especially, and go for things like the bulgur wheat and the, the rice. Because, again, if you think <laughs> about it in its most natural form, you know, they are they've had no processing that's the good thing about those sorts of grains but if you think about wheat i don't think there's any product which hasn't been processed with wheat which is why it's such an issue with your digestive system and your gut right so is bulgur wheat okay yes as long as it's the, the whole bulgur wheat grains that you're having right anything okay. that's made into flour it just yeah, becomes yeah. very refined and hasn't got the fibre content in there. So this is why um, bulgur wheat is, is OK. Well, even though it's called wheat, it's, it has different processing. Right. Oh, yeah. No, I could do that because I, I love it with roasted vegetables. I could just eat a big bowl of that. So, so again, something like that for lunch would probably be really perfect, especially in the hot weather. Yeah. Yeah, and you could eat it cold as well. Just put like yeah. olive veg, you know, the tomato, spring onions, and things like that in it. Oh, that yeah, that's that's a, as long as I can have my bulgur wheat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Right. Any other questions, Jane? Uh, well, I just wanted to know about exercises for tummies. Is there a, is it sit ups? Um. We've done crunches before, haven't we, at the classes, which is the the, the lower sit-up. But I think personally, maybe yeah. it'd be better something like a plank. You know the planks that we do? Yeah. Where you just, <laughs> that lovely plank that we sometimes do. Doing a plank is so good because not only does it tone up your tummy muscles, but also your whole core area and strengthens your back as well. So this is where doing, for instance, a 30 second or one minute plank every single day, you would really start to notice the difference on your core strength and your abdominal area. All right, I'll give it a go. <laughs> and the good news is you don't have to move. Once you get in that position, you can just breathe. <laughs> and the, se the secret is to put on your favourite song and doing it to your favourite song and obviously counting to a minute on your favourite song and that should hopefully 
make the seconds pass very quickly. I, I will try it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you haven't done it by Thursday, we'll do it in the class. I'll make them all do it, Jane. Yeah, I'm on the back row, so you won't notice that I've got head down like that. <laughs> Fab. Right, any other questions? No, I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, so finally, what is your goal for next week? Three pounds. Okay, fabulous. Right, let's do this. Okay. I will see you on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there Thursday. All right. See you then, Jane. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.